I'm just thinking about having me a Tex-Mex little feast. Make, make me a little cheese sauce. I might. I might. Well, let's just go ahead and set that stove for 350. Preheated. Got me a skillet. Medium low heat. Also, get you, a get you another skillet. Fill that up with water. Put that little saucepan right on up in it. You're going to see what I'm going to do with that. And you already know who this is. The best, cleanest spice blend ever created. And you're going to cut that stove on, on this one here. On right about the same temperature as the last. About medium low. We're going to go ahead and brown up this ground beef. I don't want no pink in it. Just take your time and do it. And that extra time, go ahead and chop up those jalapenos, onions, and tomatoes. Now, I like to take the seeds out of my jalapenos, but you do yours the way how you like. Sometimes I do the same to my tomatoes, but you do yours the way how you like. Once all my veggies are all chopped up, I want to get the bell beater. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. Cut only a quarter. Look at the directions, a quarter. That's it. Not the whole thing. And cut it into chunks. This is butter. Put that right into that saucepan. Let that melt down. My ground beef is done, so it's time to add the fajita seasoning to it. Now, my fajita seasoning, this is awesome. I ain't gonna tell you the ingredients, but just like everything else, a little bit takes you a long way. See, I don't even need all that. After that, mix it in. Next, we're gonna take that cheese, put it right in that butter. And y'all probably like, why is he putting that inside like that? Well, my background comes from the Air Force Culinary School. Let's start there. And this water right here, I promise you one thing, this cheese will not burn. You just watch and see. If you follow me at the market, I talk about this all the time. And plus, we're not even going to use milk to break it down. You just take you one of these little baking things and just... That's all you gotta do. And that butter helps it from sticking too because it gives it a little extra flavor. Easy to maneuver with as well. And just keep doing this until it smooths out. And next, I like to use my spatula to clear the sides off. And so you see how that's looking? That's what you want to see. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of water at a time, about like that much. And you're gonna keep stirring until it gets smooth. Smoother. You're gonna see. And after you stir it enough, this is the consistency you want. I mean, you can add as much more water you want. You want it thinner, you want it thicker, it's just up to you. Now it's time to add that flavor. Get that um, the Southern blend. This is the only blend I know that can make this Velveeta cheese sauce worth eating. Remember, shake that bottle up and just watch the magic. That's all I'm gonna put in there because that's all you need. Make sure you mix that in. Incorporate it real good. We don't want no season bubbles inside our, our cheese. No, no globs in it. Mix it good. Now you can add your rotel to it, add some vegetables, add some meat to it. I don't care. Do it your way. Next, I'm getting my stove. Like I said, preheated. We're going to put these tacos and the tostadas right on the rack. And I like to put mine just like this. It works perfect. Put it inside here for about three minutes. It's time to get everything out the oven now. Pressing down my little pan. I'm gonna put some cheese on top of these hot tostadas. Next, I'm gonna add some of that beef. And we're gonna put those back in the oven for about one more minute. 
While that's inside the oven, build those other tacos. Build them how you like them. And we're gonna take those out. See, I like those get cheesy just like that. Okay, got those vegetables on everything. I'm gonna add some cheese on top. I think I want me some picante sauce on here. I'm gonna put some of this mild sauce on here. All right, and I'm gonna throw me some chips on this corner, put that cheese on top of it, because you can't forget about that cheese. I'm just gonna add some of that beef on it too. Why not? Why not? Can't forget about the veggies. And it's time to eat.